What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So I can't say too much about Xtool's new laser, but we're gonna watch their teaser video and I've got some special promotional information that I need to give you guys while we're watching it. So check this out. All right, so this thing looks like it's gonna have a ton of really cool features, stuff I've never seen on CO2 lasers before. I'll talk a little bit more about what I can at the end, but the big thing I wanna put out to you guys now is that they're offering $1,000 off if you jump in as part of their super early bird pricing. And all you need to do is put a deposit down on the machine. I'll put a link in the description and I'll have one up on the screen here if you're watching on your computer. All right, so the P2 is a 55 watt CO2 laser. Uh, some cool things that I'm noticing on it is these two cameras. So why that's a big deal is usually you'll just have like one camera in the middle and you get this fisheye effect where it's accurate in the middle, but as it gets towards the edges, you lose that accuracy. So when you're trying to locate your parts, it may not be like super accurate. Uh, this should take care of that. It's also gonna let you do curved objects. So imagine like a bowl or um, a wavy flag that you've carved. Now you'll be able to go in and engrave super fine details on those wavy surfaces, which I've never seen anything do that before. So the cool features are gonna be the pass-through, and what that's gonna let you do is essentially you can do something that's as wide or tall as the machine, and then as long as it needs to be. So it just will keep feeding the material through and cutting it out. That'd be cool for really big signs. You could do like big banners for weddings or something like that. Also, uh, one of my complaints was always that these machines were so low, so you were limited on how tall, you know, or how thick of a piece of wood you could do. This has a riser that's going to come with it, and that's going to let you do stuff that's a lot thicker. It looks like these risers are a few inches tall, so that shouldn't be a problem anymore. You'll also be able to use your rotary like you always could, and what I really like is you can use their software or you can use uh, Lightburn, which is a big thing for me. I always like being able to use Lightburn. So a lot of CO2 lasers may not let you do that. These guys will let you do that and it's gonna give you a lot more options on stuff to do. So of course, I'll have a full review video on this when I get it. I'm gonna keep doing videos and show you guys exactly how it works and walk you through the steps and, and everything and show you their software, show you Lightburn, all that stuff. So stick around for that and check those links out in the description if you wanna get one for yourself. Thanks everybody.